as you can see, I, um, I skimmed back the cherry tree. And now I'm taking it to the flat sander, flat sander wheel. Um, so this is so I can get the majority of the detail done without tons of work sitting there with um, just a Dremel or a Stanley knife. I mean, basically, I know I, I don't advise you to do this. This is a drill turned upside down. As you can see, it, it shifts sometimes. It's in um, a vise. <coughs> but it was adequate. And it was doing what I wanted, so. I'm basically taking it down at an angle like a swirl. So you can see the parts that um, haven't been touched. That's actually going to be the snake's body. So by taking this down, it's lifting the, the body up, it's giving it height. It is quite time consuming doing this, and, um, but at the end of the day, like I say, if you was to use a Dremel, you'd be there for hours or some kind of carving knife. And I wanted the majority of it done so I could get down to the detail. Also, you can see crosses on it where I've marked out the areas that I don't want to touch because it's quite easy to lose concentration and then slip into those areas. I'm sorry if you can hear some whistling in the background, that's my coffee maker. I think at the moment we're probably more than halfway down the actual stick. And it's also about keeping that um, indentation the right height, or should I say depth there. You see it's, the majority of it's taken down. <clears throat> and if you can see around the, the edges, it's giving me some height for the body. I picked up some tungsten um, tungsten bits from eBay. You can buy a set on there, quite cheap. And um, they, you can get into the nooks and crannies with them. I've had those bits now since this video was made for about a year. They're really good. And you get, yeah, I think you get about five of them. So like I say, you can get in there, you can get in the nooks and crannies. Underneath the uh, snake's head as well at the top. And it's always best to work away from yourself. Work down the, the um, grain of the wood. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing there, but I'm basically working... Um, Working it, making it deeper and um, rounding the edges up over the snake's body to give it that curve. So 
as well as depth. So those bits, they've been a godsend. So I'm getting down into the cavity now and um, I'll be angling it soon, sort of like a 45 degree angle outwards from me um, to give shape to the snake's body. And that's what this video is all about mainly it's getting the depth and then um shaping the underside of the snake's body as you can see there it took a good few hours doing that a good few hours but it was well worth it um the first snake i've ever made uh well, I'm not too happy with the head, but at the end of the day, Thank you. 
into this nice piece of cherry wood. And uh, as much as I like corn, I think I'm very good at it. I think if you've got a love for something and you keep practicing, you can only get that for it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 